Welcome back to Subbase Online. Today, let's talk about some automation tricks. I want to automate these pads with an auto filter. I have the auto filter populated on my audio effects. Let's get it going with some cool automation. First of all, I'm going to engage the automation mode and I want to send my automation parameter to be the filters cutoff. To do that, I'm going to make sure that in the mix tab, I have auto select automation parameter in read mode selected. What that does is make sure that anytime I select a parameter, just by clicking on it, logic will display the parameter as the active automation parameter. So click goes the cutoff. And down here, you will see that the cutoff is now my automation parameter. With my two pad regions selected, I'm going to head back into the mix tab, create track automation, and I'm going to create automation points at region borders. This will make sure that I have two points at either end of the regions, specifically right at the starting endpoints. Now from here, of course, what I can do is just click on the points to just maybe edit them. And what I will do from here is press T on my keyboard and go down to the automation curve tool. Don't forget, when you click, hold and drag down, drag up, drag to the left or drag to the right, you're getting completely different automation curve tools each time. Let's make sure that I got something roughly like what I want. And I can go ahead and just press play here. That sounds great. I can come out of the toolbars curve tool and I can just make sure that if I want to make any changes, I can snap my automation according to any one of these predefined values. So with active snap automation, let's say for example, I want to just make sure that only quarter notes is how the next set of edits will take place. So click once, click twice, if I try and move, you'll see that it's only allowing me to move via a quarter notes distance each time. For more information about Logic Pro and music production, please visit subbassdj.com or subscribe to Subbass Online.